this is the this is the challenge. We you have to hit everybody in the room. Oh, oh. <laughs> come on! I don't know. know. Even the people you don't know. Come on, dude. She she does a lot. They do a lot. Really, <laughs> <laughs> what exposure has MWR ever brought to Pete's Angels? <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to give you a history anything, but... I am recording you. Watch, there's going to be a full page on the ad for this. He's a homeless guy. Yeah, hey, hey, dude. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He is a little red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I gave you hell. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all I'm asking is, I got the thirst to get drunk. I made fun of you. I mean, I just want the shot. Uh... Does it count the people at the tables or not? Everybody! Everybody. 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 Then you have to work. You have to walk out there into the bar and talk to all the people. Can we get you in the car? I'll take you to Walmart. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, I've learned so much. Oh, I've got so much experience now. I've learned my lessons. I've listened. Because my ears have been open for eight long years. Inconsistently quasi consistent basis. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I heard something come along from Tulsa Way. Something called Epic Evan Oakley. Oh, son. Son. I hear, <laughs> not the personal, but you're the roommate of the Tulsa Freight Train, Brandon Epperson. I got news for you, buddy. When you break in, I'll break you now on to... <laughs> uh, on to Christopher Lust. He walks around with his windbreaker and his wire rim glasses thinking he's something special. <laughs> well, Lust, I must defeat you at some point. I don't care where it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's how many people. I don't care if we don't get paid. It's gonna happen. I'll get to you later. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Cash. Dylan Cash, APW Commissioner, Fake Eric Cannon, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may have your red goatee. You may have your portly like Bill. <laughs> uh. But what I got is chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> what I got is pure affection. <clears throat> what I got is being the lady selection. All the ladies that bang on my door want to come in. All the ladies that bang on your door, you won't let out. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Bayless. Ryan Bales. Tons of experience as a ref. You drive the semis all across this great country. You've been doing this for 20 years, since you were 18. As I'm to understand, I don't read too much upon you. You're not worth my vision and my reading. Well, <laughs> Mr. Bayless, you come and you referee my match. And you know what? <laughs> Your stripes are going to be black and blue. And if you get in my way, they're going to be red, too. <laughs> <laughs> SMP, the Starving Wolf, the Omaha Chainsaw, the Struggleville Saint, the guy who just can't settle on a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be the best, but I've learned more in eight years than you can learn in a week in Long Island somewhere. Brian oh! <laughs> Kelly, a.k.a. Flair Woo, head editor of MWR, and the spitting image of the bear from Wooden and Greener Creek. <laughs> you come out there with your hat all backwards and your little camera and your little website. The stars of the Midwest yesterday, today, or whatever you say. Oh, well, MWR, they're good. But the only reason I haven't been on there is because I'm too good. <laughs> Lady with the camera. You're, <laughs> camera. You're, too, you're, you're too nice. And you've got a name. You've got a name that rolls off my tongue and into my heart. Do Bray. Doobie to some fans. Well, the only thing that'll roll off of my tongue is me telling you, get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Soup Kitchen Shaw Nautilus. The Mountain of a Man! <laughs> well, I hear you do a lot of work with CEW in Oskaloosa. 
the town where everybody knows the wrestling. Well, you meet up with me at some point. I'll still be doing my thing, and you'll be back making pizzas in West Union, Iowa. Ow! <laughs> Adam Pierce, Scrap Iron, the man who showed Shane Hagedorn the way, and he still hasn't found the way. <laughs> <laughs> I took your title. And I'm not gonna go to some far off land, and I'm not gonna strip it for lack of defenses. I'm gonna defend it like a champ. So just call me up when you're available. Call me up when you're free. <laughs> Cause I got all the time if you got the time for me. <laughs> Derek Cornell, Steel City. Mr. Pittsburgh. Mr. Pittsburgh, right? Oh, Mr. Pittsburgh. I thought it was Mr. Fort Dodge, Iowa. I thought it was Mr. Factory Worker. I thought it was Mr. Shoemaker. You can throw your heroes, and you can throw your Saeedos, and you can keep your hair so cleanly shaved, all the ladies will flock. Pass you to my dinner table. <laughs> Malachi. Malachi. One half of the Highlanders. <laughs> The greatest tag team to ever come out of the community centers in the synagogues. <laughs> <laughs> you may be a man of virtue and purity. Well, I'm going to teach you a thing or two. I'm going to beat you so hard, you won't even be able to keep the yarmulke on. Oh! <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. The man with the charisma, the man with the physique, the man with the raw style, he doesn't care what he thinks but he's not too good a shape. <laughs> you see, every night, even when I don't train at the Magnum Pro Dojo where men are men and pussies get their heads kicked in, <laughs> I do 25, 25, 25, 25 on my apartment. I sometimes got my girl on speaker, but she understands. <laughs> Merlin Dean Banks, the money profiteering person. Uh, you've got your tattoos, you've got your lip rings. Oh, yeah. If I asked everybody in FCW, they would say things like, Who? <laughs> <laughs> we've trained together, we've been up and down the road together. But I can promise you one thing, no matter where it is, down in Ohio there, don't you know, for SAW. <laughs> I don't care where it is, because MVP is falling right at my feet. Great drink, right now, for saying that. I took that title from you. I took that title from you, and what did you do? You went back to Oklahoma, and you cried to your trainers. You cried to, to Combine Pro. Combine Pro, a promotion named after a farming tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't never gonna get back. So train as hard as you might, you know. Do those curls, curl those double cheeseburgers. <laughs> Try as you might. Big Nick! Big Nick, buddy! The big man from Lincoln! Well, I've been to Lincoln. All my siblings graduated from Lincoln. I graduated from Omaha, because I've been in there for 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> so you can take the drive from Lincoln, you can come to Omaha. And I'll show you a thing or two. And I'll send you back to Lincoln all black and blue. Andrew Chico, that's in suave. You know something? I like you. I like your style. You've got that swagger. You've got that machismo. Well, that machismo doesn't mean anything when you're in the ring with me. Because, you know, I've been to the places you've been or you've originated from. I've been to places like Mexico. <laughs> I've had beer bottles thrown at me. <laughs> And I've had all the luchadors get on their knees and bow to me. Because I got it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you come to Magnum, you do a little lucha libre in my casa ese. And I'll send you back to your casa. And I will have Sakara la Basura taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to the yeah. man. Oh, uh, yeah, hold oh, on. Yeah, we come to the man next to the man. Jeff O'Shea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Brian. Almost Brian got. Almost Brian got. You're a good kid. I like you. From Oskaloosa. A man who knew what he wanted. A man who had to overcome a lot of adversity in his life. And we've been up and down, you know, CW, XOW, you and your beard. But something happened. 
something happened. You're tagging your partner, Derek Cornell. You guys are great together. You guys are like brothers. You know what you're going to do before you're going to do it. That's how good you guys are. But he saw it differently. He saw that he couldn't go anywhere with you, so he turned on you. And now you're living in a cardboard box. <laughs> you can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't find a place to live. And basically, you go to all the unemployment offices, and there's, there's just a hand. There's just a hand, and on it it says, betrayal, because that's what everybody feels like you did to them. So I suggest you keep that beard. I keep my beard and my mustache, but hey, you know, I do a lot of making out all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I like to do a service. I don't like them to be all getting all facial hair up in there. <laughs> well, if I don't appreciate the dame very much, I might just keep the facial hair. But let me tell you something. You bring your elbow pads, you bring your pale complexion, you bring everything to my house, and I'll show you what I got, Brian. <laughs> Jeff O'Shea, we're coming down to the wire. Jeff O'Shea, from the Colonel's Kitchen. <laughs> Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina, right? Haven't you lived in Omaha all your life? Yeah, I think you've lived in Omaha all your life. But we've trained together. I've had to do those practices just like you. I've broken just like you. But you see, you got a big head. You got a big head. You may not be as small, but you, you get a big head. And that head has been marred by concussion after concussion after concussion. The only concussions I got were from partying too hard, hitting my head on the bar, they were. <laughs> so Jeff O'Shea, you bring all your stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> teach you a thing or two. Finally, Jason Stratton. Oh, God. Remember, remember, January 31st, 2004, I was a 17-year-old ring announcer wearing a shirt of a company that would close with that first show. <laughs> Gives you an indication of how things burn around here. And I came across the word strife. I was like, oh, that's clever. He must have a lot of strife in his life. That took five seconds to come up with. I love this business. <laughs> Eight years later, he would become the man who promoted all the world should notice. He's been to a lot of places, Minnesota, Germany, New England, Scotland, Iowa, Illinois. He's been a lot of places, actually. And he was the one that trained me, and I respect that. Well, and he wrestled for seven hours, too. The last time I did something for seven hours, <laughs> she had to call in Horny to work. <laughs> So wherever you want, Sensei, wherever you want, this student might teach you a thing or two, or three, or four, because I'm sexy peach schnapps. Beat me if you can. Survive. You're not going to survive. <laughs> Ticket to that? <laughs> no, 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 I would advise you just to hear. No,